Hi guys. Well, <laughs> I was in the middle of making the third part of my lamps video. Uh, mostly for a Facebook group actually. Just so people can see the lamps a lot better and see them in action. <sighs> That's the only reason I'm doing the videos. Plus I'm bored and just wanted to do something. <laughs> So I figured, you know, why not? Um, well, it looks like the town council are officially out. The big dumpster is still here. And uh, when I looked on it this morning, out of this window, I noticed a desk, an office desk, lying upside down on top. So I thought that top would be very good to use in making the... Um, table extension in this area so I hopped onto the town council Facebook group and just posted a question on there you know, asking if it would be alright just to rescue the tabletop I didn't want the table legs so I just want the tabletop it was only held on with six screws um, and eventually after about an hour or so of it being up there the town mayor replied and said help yourself so it did. <laughs> yeah, it's not hard to open the back door on one of them. Just literally pull out a safety pin, pull out this big lever that releases the back door, and, and just swing it open. Um, I did have to go mountain climbing in there though, because it was right at the front on top of everything. So it was a bit precarious. But um, that wasn't the only thing I nabbed. While I was in there, I thought, you know, I'd see if there was anything else worth rescuing before it all gets taken away and go to landfill or buried with other rubbish that's probably going to be put in there. Because um, apparently they're going to have a street auction or something to sell some of the stuff that was in the council office. Uh, and basically, apparently what they couldn't fit, probably in the storage for this street auction, is going in this skip. We call them skips here. So uh, I did find another wider tabletop, so I grabbed that as well. There's an office chair, which is rather wet, so I've stuck that in the shed to dry along with the tabletops. Uh, but uh, it's in perfect condition, and that one is broken and rather large and bulky for this corner, so. That can go down the dump, or I'll give it away, or whatever. And you can't see what... Well, you can just about see a shadow of what I'm talking about. Oh, that didn't help either. Oh, here we go. Eee. <laughs> You're in the spotlight. Yeah, get rid of that thing. Uh, what else do I grab? Oh, yeah. I'm actually, um, I'm going to move them. <laughs> it's a bit dark down there. If I just, uh... You know, the other thing I did today, I used that to, uh, tighten the loose spokes up on that wheel. I just hope I haven't buckled it in the process. Otherwise I will not be impressed. Rescued this. It is just the chassis, basically. There's a motor in there I could rescue. There's a motor there and there's the circuit board. Let's see. Well, it's been weathered because it's been sitting outside for the past year and year and three quarters. Yeah, because in a couple of months it would be two years. Uh, so, yeah, there's a lot of cobwebs. Bugs. <laughs> this was in... These... Both of these were in the... Um, thing as well. Look at this crap all sitting around here. Might take the vacuum cleaner to it tomorrow. But that was one. I pretty much grabbed it because I just want the circuit board off of it. I'm not, I've got a couple of these motors because well that proves I was right to half inch the other ones in the first place because they didn't care. That's why they were sitting there. You know, they've thrown them in the skip. You know, I just thought while I'm in there and if you remember I said one of them had the at least one of them had the camera missing, but this one 
has got it. It's still got the camera. So I've now got three cameras. When was that tested? 4th of the 3rd, 2002. Uh, but someone's actually been on this one and taken off all the transformer and everything off of here as well. Because this side should look like this. Should have a transformer up here and which I presume is the 110 volt transformer. I'm presuming. I don't know. Um, but these cages have the pin out for the plug up here. Here rather. So this just plugs into there. Then you've got these cables that wire into it. This one's got three. And that one's got two. But that's because there's another little motor in here I can salvage. This has got double stacked boards. This is exactly like the first one I went and made disappear from the pile. <laughs> um, but like I said, I did tell them once that someone was half inching stuff from the pile right in broad daylight and they just didn't seem to give a shit. So, <laughs> but if I'd have known they were just going to throw these out ages ago, perhaps I should have asked. <laughs> I just kept forgetting really. There's some cut wires there. I'm actually thinking of keeping this one in one piece because that is complete. I've got no idea what any of these plugs here do or I think that is something to do with the zoom controls and whatnot. I know they don't have audio installed. It's a bit pointless when they're high up on one of those posts. But uh Take these epoxy things off out of the way if I can. I should all just unscrew. The domes are still in there. The plastic domes are in there. And as the town clerk said, someone could salvage those and uh, turn those into hanging baskets. Which would be easy. You could turn the domes upside down. Um, they're plastic, so you could just drill some holes and put in little, um, bolt in little hooks and... Uh, some chain and you've got yourself a hanging basket. I figured some of these might be a bastard because it's been out there for a while. But oddly, apart from a little bit of dirt on this camera, it's in good condition. <laughs> but it is, it's exactly like the others. It's a shame that camera's gone. Someone obviously, um... Yeah, that one going to come off. It's just spinning round on the bracket, so yeah, I might be able to bend that and fatigue it till it snaps. Yeah, I just snapped these straight out of the dome. They were sort of riveted in, I think, looking at this, because there's a rivet there and a rivet there, or this plate was. So they would make good hanging baskets for that reason. There's already holes in there to drain the water out of. <laughs> Novelty planters. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those. That one, like I said, I will just take the circuit board out. Then I could either just throw it on my trailer for scrap or just hoof it straight over back into the skip. <laughs> Before it gets taken away, you know, put it back where I got it from. Oh, excuse me. I think on this one, I will retrieve this little motor, the circuit board, that motor... I don't know if I'm going to bother with that because I've still got another one of those there from another camera to take apart. <laughs> uh, but I could. I could. That, and I don't actually know what I'm going to find under there. <laughs> no big spiders, please. I can handle little ones, just not the big ones. Yeah, I've completely forgot. Oh, no, I'm just imagining things. Why are these ones at that angle? They've been bent that way. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, um, I don't know if they're going to throw the shit that's around the corner into there. But they've even, today, moved 
the wheelie bins out here, the dumpsters for the um, market day. They went today. I don't know where to put them. The truck's not parked on here anymore. I don't know if they've got to do any sorting out in the old council office building. But there is still a fair bit of room in the in that dumpster. It seems like a waste. You know, they could just... I mean, there's a ton of shite around the corner that they could just dump in there. I'll clean that area a bit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the um, North Washman Bloom trailer and their storage is empty. The trailer's gone, I mean, not the trailer is empty. They had, I think I've shown you up before, that trailer with a big old tank on the back that they fill with water and go around town and water all the plants. So, um, pretty good. I might smell the baker across the way there. <laughs> the wind must be in the right direction. Uh, so I'm going to keep my eyes open for anything else. It's payday tomorrow. Well, after midnight. Well, actually, for some reason, mine goes in after 12.30. Although I have known it to go in a little later than that. It just depends on the spank. <laughs> um, another set of brake calipers have sold. I got offered £2.50, so I took it. Money's money. Well, actually, Biggles didn't ask last time, so... <laughs> Don't ask, don't get, as they say. Nah, I'm not that evil. Right. Not sure which pair sold, though. And I don't know if he's, um... paid yet, either. Bar at a hotel in Norwich. And the Governor's Hotel. Clear damage to a upstairs bedroom window. Someone smoking in bed. Yeah, I just got an EDP article uh, linked to me. Right, enough of that. I'm just going to check on my email, see if he sent payment. You've sold. Nope, not yet. But if he's been busy, they may not have um, checked on it anyway. And that's all bollocks. Freaking spam, man. Actually, speaking of eBay, I, you know I sold that laptop last week. And it got collected Monday morning. I've been asked two days in a row um, have I shipped the item even though I replied to him the first time he asked so I've got this horrible feeling that he's going to be a complete bell end to me so I'm not looking forward to that because no doubt he's going to want a fucking refund I can see it coming he's going to want a refund because item didn't arrive. In fact, I'm actually going to go to my Hermes and have a look. Log in, please. I don't know why it logs you out. Too active. Laptop. Parcel collected. Right, it 
routes in transit to the recipient's local carrier. But it's not out with the recipient's local carrier yet. Uh, so that could be tomorrow, it could be Friday. But, um, yes, it's a My Hermes. It's not Royal Mail, so it's not going to turn up in your friggin' morning mail. Num nuts. I do hate people like that. I don't know why he asked again. I mean, I don't even know why they're desperate to get it. It doesn't work. That's going to be the next thing. They'll probably get it and then message me, it don't work. Well, read the article. Do you know who sang these 70s rock songs? That'll be interesting to do in a little while. Nemo's chasing a newspaper around the hallway. If you can hear any rustling, that's what it is. I would show you, but there's no light in the hallway, so you wouldn't see him anyway. Right, so my plan for tomorrow... ...is to basically go around town when I get up. The town mayor's got a charity stall in the market tomorrow, so I'm going to go along and uh, see what that's about. I might give a donation, or I might buy something, or apparently he's selling Tombola tickets as well, so I could enter that. Some cheeky bugger on my question on their group actually said you could donate towards the skip, like a hundred pounds. I'm thinking... No, because I'm freeing up room in the skip. <laughs> if I was adding my own rubbish to the skip, then yeah, I would, you know, pay, contribute towards the cost. <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> yeah, so that's the plan for tomorrow. Go into Black Records, see what he's got. See if he's got any different Lego on the shelf. Or anything else that might pique my interest. Uh, what else? Go into all sorts, see if they've got anything. I'll go roam around the charity shops. See if I can find any PS3 or PS2 games, or even PS1 games. Sometimes charity shops do get them. And PS3 games. You usually sell them pretty cheap. I panic every time he jumps on my lap because I think he's going to use his claws. You are a mum nut. I'm actually hungry. But I don't want a sandwich. I don't fancy a sandwich. Um... Got some chips on the floor, I suppose I could eat a bag of those. Mm, I don't even know what I fancy for breakfast tomorrow either. Do I go get some sausage rolls? some goodies and I can do a goodie video <laughs> oh and I do want to get some bulbs for that light fitting so I'm getting that up Lidl's have got LED light fittings at 30 quid each 
but I I was tempted but then I thought the bloody LED bulbs are gonna cost me ten pounds and I've already got the friggin light fitting there and this light fitting would be brighter because I do need a good light to see by and like I said I do want to get rid of that poxy fluorescent seems like a good idea when I first put it up there a few years ago I it would have been three or four years that's been up there but it's just you go to this end of the lounge it's dark you go to that end of the lounge it's dark it just doesn't light up the whole lounge which is why I want to put those spots up well, one of the reasons that it'll also be cheaper to run it will be less damaging to my Lego because fluorescent lights don't do plastic but um, a lot of good especially white plastic so yeah got all these lamps down here but the, some of the footage was just getting corrupt and I don't know why and I just couldn't be asked to start all over again so I might do that video tomorrow it's the last one I need to do I've done the JSP lamps, I've done the Dorman Smith lamps, so it's just the MISC ones next. Menissons, um, the American ones, the Wolf one. God, um, but I'm not eating a bloody acid, because if I'm going to eat a packet of chips, I'm just going to trigger off the heartburn again, so I might as well eat that, get a drink, and then go sucky sucky on an antacid sucky sucky on an antacid <laughs> all right I've got to find a home to put those planks when I get them up the stairs they're not heavy they're just big and awkward and I stuck them over the fence out back to save me walking them all the way round and they bloody slipped out of my hand, didn't they? Hit the floor, and then you just hear this crack as they land flat on the floor. <laughs> but, uh. I knew no one would mind, but. It's just. It's in a place where lots of people walk through. And I know I've got neighbours that like to look out of the window as well. Not nosy nosy neighbours, but just like me, you know, have a quick glimpse. And I just didn't want any one to sort of come up to me and say, oh, you shouldn't be in there, you've got permission. Well, funny enough, yes, I have. <laughs> no one did. I don't even think anyone knew I was hiding in there, to be honest. <laughs> and actually, to be honest, an odd few people that did walk through didn't seem to give a shit anyway, but you never know. It only takes one busybody to see what you're doing. And a bloody call of police. He's going round in that skip. There's someone stealing stuff. Because oddly enough, over here, that would have been construed as theft. Because technically that car park out there is private. Hence, why you couldn't park on there. It doesn't fucking matter now, because it's not patrolled. <laughs> um, so even though it's rubbish, it would still be considered theft. Which is kind of understandable, you know, it's still someone's property and it's still on their property, so that's why it's usually considered theft. Um, but I think one of the daftest things, or daftest laws we have, is theft by finding. If you found a bunch of fly tipped rubbish, and you took something from it, even though it's discarded rubbish, you know, you found a, a load of fly tipped shit and there was an old washing machine there and you just wandered it for some bits and you took it away. The police could do you by theft by finding. As dumb as that is. Obviously most cops will just ignore something like that because it really wouldn't be worth the friggin' paperwork. But you'll always get that one brown nose that will um, 
do anything they can, you know, the ones that want the promotions, the ones that think they're the big I am because they've got the uniform, the wankers, basically. We've got at least one of those in town, and he's not even a proper copper. He's a PCSO. Uh, police Community Support Officer. And PCSOs, they have no powers of arrest, no powers to detain you, they can't hold you, um, they can't drive police cars on blue lights and sirens, because they're not trained to, so they get given a little hatchback with police writing on it. <laughs> that's all it's got, it's just got police written on it. Not even the traditional Battenberg markings on it. Um, so pretty much they can't do fuck all. Um, I think they can write out tickets on the spot tickets uh, but that's about it but they're just meant for um, giving a presence in towns uh, and you can talk to them for advice on security and advice on whatever you want basically that's crime related um, but there is one who's a complete prick <laughs> He really is um, an ass, basically. He actually called my friend an unfit dad because he was running two minutes late and picking his kids up from um, play school. So yeah, he's just an ass. And everyone I know that's had a run in with him says the same thing. No one likes him. Someone actually. Um, said something on a Facebook post a few days ago and I knew exactly what PCSO he was talking about without him even mentioning a name <laughs> you know he's that well known for the wrong reasons you just know as soon as someone says it even if they don't give the name you know who they're talking about But I actually have to say, at least in this area, I've not had a problem with the police. Apart from being arrested a few times. And one of those times was my own stupid fault. But that's now behind me. Punishment served, so... <coughs> can't change the past now, can't change stupid decisions, can I? Right. <laughs> Point the camera at me and he looked away. I'm not looking at him evilly. He was giving me evils. But as soon as I point the camera at him, he looked away. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to turn the camera off because I really can't think of anything. I've got about an hour and a half to wait. Wander across, grab my cash. After I pay the phone bill first. Otherwise, no interwebs. I don't really give a shit about the landline, but you know, about the phone itself. I just want the internet. But, over here... We can't just buy the internet, we've got to have the friggin' phone with it, because you've got to have an active phone line in order to get it. Because it all uses the same line. Except fibre optic. Well, it uses the same line until it gets to the switch thing out in the road. Mine is over that way somewhere. I remember it must have been must have been a good couple of years ago that they actually went round upgrading everything to take fibre optic. Putting in new switch boxes and whatnot. Anywho, I'm gonna shut down and I'm going to I don't know actually. I'm gonna find something to do. So you might find some interesting puzzles on Facebook to do. Or quizzes. Yeah. Alright, thanks for watching.
hopefully I'll have a goodie video tomorrow. Bye.